Okay, Dreamer, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another update with Orly and we're gonna check out her skills later on. But first for the update, I don't think it's a very big update. Yeah, it's it looks really small. <laughs> okay, we are going to have Orly release, yes, and then two new outfits which is Rins and Seeks. Okay. And um let's see, new exclusive equipment for Miss Velvet. Okay, she basically is able to do additional damage when she hits from the back of the enemy. This is uh, good for her because she tends to jump to the back of the enemy and it's only that certain skill that's going to do additional damage, I believe. Unless you do move her uh, to the back. I'm not sure if it works that way, but okay. I don't think she is going to climb anywhere near to the best damage dealer with this. Okay, because, you know, Coset was released and... Uh, Kosa is still going to be the best damage dealer in the game. Okay, Shane as well. So I'm not too sure where she stands even with her exclusive equipment. But uh, it'll be good to have for your codex, of course. We have three new pets and my images are not loading again. <laughs> yep, okay. Wait, let me just... Sometimes this translation thing is... Yeah, so okay, uh, we have three new pets released. We are gonna have Ming, Ming pl uh, Legendary Plus Ming, and her skill set is crazy because you every single hero in your team is able to decrease the target's ultimate skill gauge. So it's basically like a, like a free Lutaji accessory on every single hero in your team. And your heroes will also be immune to ultimate skill gauge decrease for 20 seconds. Not that we do have any hero that reduces ultimate skill gauge right now, I believe. I mean, okay, we do have the Lataji accessories, of course. So if this pet goes on a Jave team, it's gonna be incredibly, incredibly dangerous, okay? Because Jave's ultimate skill is crazy. And so for Karma as well, right? So, um, yeah, the support is really good. So this is a great, great pet for especially tank teams. And then we also have Miss Velvet's pet, which is gonna be the same thing as Spike's pet, but instead of debuff cleansing, she gives damage immunity. And we also have Claire's pet, which is a great pet for uh, debuff teams because of the attack speed increase and the status accuracy increase. I believe she is the first pet right here that we have that has, uh, L pet I mean, that has status effect accuracy rate increase. Okay, so pretty good. And then uh, we have 10 new Celestial Tower Floors, Gargoyle and Phasma. And then we also have an additional Codex for the equipment upgrade. So once you have enhanced your gear to plus 20, you will get additional buffs. So this is going to push everybody to get their gear to plus 20. You need a full set by the way. Okay, you need a full set and I think it's PvP oriented, there may be PvE buffs So you just gotta see later on, I'm not sure if um, They're all PvP related or PvE related But this is gonna make a big difference in PvP if it's all PvP related We also have additional formation expansions to level 12 Okay, this is gonna be great uh, make sure you have had enough books for that. You need a total of about 1,400 books per two levels for the next two levels. Guild War is gonna happen. Uh, rune and experience dungeon entry increase. Okay, you can use rubies for these. There's a rune dungeon increase. <laughs> very, very suspicious. So it makes me think that we are gonna get um, jewel system very soon, okay? Because this rune dungeon increase is really very sus. And if you haven't checked out the rune, the jewel video I had, do check it out. Okay, that's pretty much all we have for this particular update. Now we're gonna check out um, Aurelie's skill set. Nice background they designed for her. Orly used in arena for her ultimate skill. She deals AOE damage over time. Okay, she has fifty percent oh fifty percent chance to summon a magical circle which silences targets. So the circle is only fifty percent. That's kind of sad. Okay, 
and then uh, when her first active skill, AoE as well, it hundred percent chance to decrease silence resistance. And also um, creates a shield for her. So the silence resistance can be decreased up to 63%, which is pretty good. And then she will probably have a very high chance to land the silence. Second skill is AoE, 50% chance to silence. Third skill is straight line, 50% chance to knock down, and also do additional damage to silence targets. So she does have only two skills that silence. Okay, one that reduces silence resistance and one that deals additional damage to silence targets. But however, she's also able to silence okay uh, using her basic skills itself, giving her more efficiency in that aspect. Also similar to Yonhi, whereby she deals AoE damage when she attacks on her basic attack. So she's gonna be good for gold dungeon for sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's basically it. So what do you guys think of Orly? Okay, I think um, as a damage, as a PvP unit, she's pretty decent. Okay, especially for those who do not have Yuri still. You're still running maybe Juju or Claire. I think she's going to be a good upgrade for your speed team. That's if you're running a speed team. Because beyond the speed team, Orly is not really used at all. Okay, she's really used alongside Rin only. Even in the Korea server when she came out, in fact when she came out, she wasn't used as much until a little later when I guess more people got better or at least because Well, I mean, if she's gonna be used right now at level 30, I don't think she's gonna live very well at all, okay? So she's someone that you do need to build up, especially since she's a PvP only hero. I won't say PvP only hero, but she's definitely meant for PvP rather than PvE, so in terms of her utility and her minimal build, you do need to get her up. But she's a range hero, so if you guys want more attack codex, she's definitely a pull for you. Okay, otherwise, if you are thinking of saving up for future better heroes, uh, I think she's definitely one of those heroes that you could poss possibly skip. Okay? So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this update. Big shout out to my channel members Jeremy, Nick, Gonzalo, Chilling, Joseph, Zva, Nanda, Marian, Wei Cheng, Yamaki, Kevin, Harlan, Jeremy, Zon, and Giovanni for the support. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much. See you!